Hey, all my movie maniacs out there. Another monster film on the chopping block today, and this one's a sequel to the 50s film, The Killer Shrews, and today's film's aptly named Return of the Killer Shrews. Now, in the original film, we were told the story of a scientist doing a population control on this island, and they were experimenting with shrews. And we had Captain Thorne Sherman, played by James Best, showing up with uh, some members of this uh, scientific crew. And when these mutant shrews end up going crazy and start attacking people, the captain as long as with a few other folks managed to escape the island. Well, now we have Return of the Killer Shrews, where uh, Captain Thorne has returned to this island reluctantly while transporting a crew for a reality TV show, the Jungle Survival type of show, with Johnny Reno, played by John Schneider. And when he reaches the island, he doesn't think the Killer Shrews are still around until people start showing up dead, and he realizes what they are, and they need to get off the island. But the question is, are these attacks random, or are they being controlled by someone else. Uh, the, attack, the return of the Killer Shrews is just a lot of fun, okay? Now, I'm going to start off right off the bat as there's some really cheesy CGI stuff in here. CGI Shrews and CGI Blood. Uh, but, you know, I realized what they were going for with that. One, so it, one, it was done on a limited budget, but two, uh, they were doing it kind of in that same vein of the original cheesy horror film Killer Shrews, because you know how they did the Shrews in the original? They put shrew costumes on dogs and had the dogs run through the woods, okay? So the CGI shrews isn't that much far from dogs with shrew costumes on, so they managed to kind of capture that spirit of the original. So once I realized that's what they were going for, I could overlook the CGI shrews, were, which weren't exactly the best CGI shrews, and the CGI blood, which, you know, it always uh, doesn't sit right with me, but they also did have some gore effects in here, practical gore effects as well. So, good mixture of that, though I could do a little bit without the CGI blood, realizing that they were doing it in the vein of that cheesy 50s style, I could kind of overlook it. Now, there's some great performances in here. As I mentioned, John Schneider's in here. His Johnny Reno is fantastic. Loved his character. You probably recognize good old John Schneider, but he's in here and really plays it to the hilt. Also, what's fun is seeing James Best back on the screen. Yes, they got the original actor who played Captain Thorne Sherman to come back to reprise his role. He gets some of the best scenes in here, some of the best lines as well as kind of the ornery captain who really wants to get off the island and not get munched by shrews. So really loved seeing him on the screen again, along with Bruce Davison, who plays Jerry Farrell. Now, Jerry's character was originally played by Ken Curtis. Unfortunately, Ken Curtis passed away many years ago. So Bruce Davison was asked to, repri to uh, play that role, and he does very well, and he's got some great chemistry with James Best. Uh, you also have some newer actors and actresses in here. One of them to mention, Jeanette St. Clair. Uh, she's actually from Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Woohoo! Wisconsin cheeseheads represent in this film. So you get a mixture of veteran actors as well as young actors, which is good because it helped carry some of the scenes. The veteran actors and their delivery of lines in that really helped out carry some of these scenes with these younger actors. There's a very uh, variety of different characters in here, a number of cliche characters that we've seen uh, portrayed before as, uh, you know, the crazy director and the girl looking to get ahead and sleep her way to, with the guy who, you know, has the most chance of getting her to be an actress, and, you know, you have those types of characters as well, but it's all done definitely in the vein of a cheesy 50s-style horror film. They aren't trying to make a serious horror film at all. They are doing it in the cheesy style, and they do accomplish that. Plus, there's some fun music in here, uh, some original music that they had written specifically for this movie, and I'm looking forward to their uh, sequel, which they will be making, I hopefully soon, if they can get the funding. So, if you liked the original Killer Shrews. I think you'll really enjoy this cheesy sequel to that. Done in the same vein with a little bit more modern look to it. Some fun performances by some veteran actors and some decent performances by the newer actors and actresses as well. Check it out if you can. It's definitely worth your time and if you get a chance to uh, pick up the DVD, I'll put a link down below to their site. I think you can get it through their site. They might not have wide distribution yet, but they may soon and if they do, I'll update you then. But Return of the Killer Shrews, a decent send-up sequel to the original, done in the exact same vein, only with a little bit more modern technology at their fingertips. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, folks, keep that ticket stopped.